The South Korean government is taking its first stab at meta fashion, namely digital fashion, for the metaverse. On Monday, it held a launch ceremony for its digital wardrobe here in Seoul. Officials say the wardrobe will feature 30 different designer outfits by November. Kim Yon Sung reports. The latest must have fashion isn't streetwear, it's screenwear. South Korean designers are dipping their toes into the world of meta fashion, with the government launching its first ever digital wardrobe. The Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy held a launch ceremony on Monday at the Dongdaemun Design Complex. It says it's going to present 30 virtual outfits by this November. Several top designers are on board with the project, including Hanbok designer Hwang Isir, who has designed outfits for BTS member Jimin. Three celebrities, actress Han Seon Hwa, singer Ravi, and model Jesse, will be modeling the outfits. The tech behind it comes from the South Korean 3D fashion design software Klo. A mobile carrier KT is developing an app where consumers can try on and buy these virtual pieces. Meta fashion is considered a goldmine of limitless potential. The clothes in the gaming world are a sort of meta fashion. Trying on clothes digitally through AR or VR is another type of meta fashion. We buy a lot of clothes to take a good Instagram photo. But with digital clothing services, we may no longer have to buy actual clothes to get the same effect. Meta fashion is going to be a game changer. Metaverse fashion is forecast to quadruple in size in the next decade and grow into a 55 billion US dollar industry. In the virtual world, there are no limits to what the creatives can make. With meta fashion, I can create what's beyond reality and something that's only been in my imagination. Virtual style comes without the same environmental impact. About 7,000 liters of water goes into making a single pair of actual jeans. But in meta fashion, the only liquid needed are the cups of coffee the designers will be drinking. Meta fashion is still in its early stages, especially in South Korea. But as the line between the virtual world and reality blurs each day, there's no telling how far the digital runway can stretch. Kim Yeonseung, Arirang News.